chapter five. It's called the unlikely pairing, right? Unlikely pairing. I'm going to read the first, um, the first, first paragraph, maybe two. Yeah, first two paragraphs of this, and we'll go over more. I want to just expand on some things. Just giving you a general overview, though. I'm not going to read the whole entire chapter with you because I think that would just be um, a little too much at this moment in time. But um, I want to give you some pointers as to you know as to this whole entire subject of chapter five, unlikely pairing, how the church and Leah kind of fit, and then she sold her soul somewhere else. So here it is. Leah has made many statements about Scientology, and they don't seem to reach the light of day. That is intentional because Leah would rather not share this side of her, just like all the earlier chapters show. These statements are completely voluntary, and in the midst of her operations as a pretending Scientologist, and in the process of her using Scientologists who are in the entertainment industry to attempt to better her career and her actress profile. Therefore, here are all of her statements that I could find publicly that are in public, either through an interview at, the, at a Scientology event gathering or in person with a news reporter like BBC. Um, here's the first one that just hits the bucket, okay? This is Leah Romini talking about, um, talking about Scientology. I didn't really have any involvement with the community prior to getting involved with Scientology in any way. It was just kind of like me, 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 you know? It's like, I'm screwed up. I need help. And screw everybody else. And since I've been involved in Scientology now, you learn to take responsibility for yourself, and not only yourself, but others. And so the focus gets a little bit off of you, and that's always a good thing. You know, and that's and that it's not all about Leah and my problems and my garbage. And it feels good to know that you can actually make a change because people can. People can make a difference. Oh, Leah Mini. Okay? That's different from what she's saying now. Okay? That means there's something kind of screwed up here, right? Something a little messed up. She's saying that it's not all about her and that it's good to get the attention off of her and into helping others, right? And it's not all about her and her garbage and whatever. That's what she says in here, right? She says, and it feels good to know that we, that you can actually make a change because people can. People can make a difference. She learned this in the church of Scientology. She didn't learn this on her own, right? Because before, it was all about her, me, 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 all about her problems, her garbage, her life, whatever. It's about community involvement. It's about um, making a change because now she knows people can make a difference. Interesting, right? Interesting stuff. Um, here's another statement, right? This is another statement. Um, 1997 says, it's nice to know when you do something and you go, I'm actually helping, you know? I'm actually, I'm, I'm helping them help. I'm helping the church help so many other things. And that's such a, I love it. I love being involved with it because then I, you know, I feel like I'm a good person. Will you remain? Notice how she says, I feel like I'm a good person after she's helping people. Where did this feeling go? Why is she different now? This is what she says in 1998 about the church. I don't know of an organization that has their hands in so many things in the community, especially when it has to do with children and the environment. And that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, so they give so much. I mean, it's crazy. Well, I'm an artist, so I, like I said, without it, I'd be in the dumps. And would, I would probably be an animal. I would be a horrible, horrible person. She says that about her... If she didn't find Scientology, she wasn't in Scientology. If she wasn't using Scientology. She'd be a horrible, horrible person. Well, what is she doing now? I'll let you fill in that blank because what she's doing now is pretty, is pretty horrible, right? All righty. And then 
here's what I want to do is I want to basically just end it here and let you know that you can get the whole entire set at exposingcrimes.com. Okay? Get this book and all of the books combined. Thanks so much, guys. See you in Chapter 6.